Okay, it's it's Nick the Barber here uh, with one of the most requested haircuts in the barber shop, uh, a high bald fade. So with low and dark on the top, high bald fade. This is a one open that I use to go with the green, um, just found the, the direction of the hair. So here you'll find me start with not the T-liner, but a clipper closed. And I just make my first guideline with the clipper closed because I don't want to put a hard line in. Because everyone knows that's one of the hardest things to do is to take out that line. So I'm going to just start with the clipper closed and get a clean line all the way around. I'm not going to bald out all the way to the bottom because I'm going to come up under that and flick into this line with my T-liners after. And you'll see in a second. So here we go. Uh, and this is how I get to the skin. Typically, I don't use a foil shaver on my uh, black clients just because it's very unpredictable and you don't know if they're going to get bumps. So I like to just keep it safe um, and just use the T-liners. Just getting everything as clean as possible. Taking my time. No need to rush. You don't want your client going home with finding hair, you know, where it's supposed to be bald. And as you can see, I'm flicking up. I'm not going all the way up to that top line. I don't want to bring my line up any higher. That's a very important thing as a barber is to not take your lines higher. Keep your guideline that guideline and work under it. Yep. So yeah, this is my first tutorial. I'm doing this as low tech as possible. I'm recording this on my cell phone, recording the audio on my cell phone, editing on my cell phone. All right, so here we go. I'm opening up the clipper all the way and going about an inch up all the way around, just following that same line. I just find that going in neat sections is the easiest way to do it. Um, that way you don't get lost. I recently got out of barber school and they kept talking about learning to fade down so that you don't put a line in. But I find when you're starting out, the easiest way is to just know exactly where you're working. And right now I'll know that in order to blend this line out, I have to work with my clipper going from open to close because that's how exactly how I put it in. I don't have to remember where I am in the fade. It's very hard to get lost if you just follow these simple steps and keep your work neat. All right, so now once this is in, as soon as I finish putting in that second guideline, I'll close up the clipper halfway. So I'm just flicking out the line. And because I didn't put in a hard line, I will get most of the line out just with this clipper half closed. Um, but of course, you know, all barbers say you take the line out with what you put it in with. So I'll end up closing this clipper pretty much all the way up just to make sure I don't miss anything. Here's the other side. And let me know in the comments if you want, um, if you'd rather I just show one half of the head so we can get through these tutorials quicker. Um, but you know, this is my first one. So just give me as much feedback as possible. So as you can see, that line is pretty much coming out just half closed and then I'll detail and close up the clipper um, as I see fit. I'm not using a lot of pressure, you know, and I'm combing as I go through. Uh, combing helps you lay the hair down, keep it organized, and to comb away hair that has been cut. And this is the way I normally do it, guys. I do one side. And I do the other side and, I, and then I connect that section in the middle. And as you can see, I'm not moving my feet much. I'm turning the chair. I'm using the, the main light source um, so that 
you know, the, the main light source, that doesn't change. So I'm, I'm basically having that behind me so I can see as much as possible. Okay, so here we go with the clipper open. Um, so I use the one, the one open to put in this next section. And after this, and I'm using the wall system, guys. This is just the wall system. Pretty much everything I do um, is just with two wall seniors. One, one senior is on the, the charger while I'm doing a cut and then I switch for my next haircut. So yeah, it's same steps. I'm just going up about an inch, uh, clipper open. And then to get this line out uh, that was created with the clipper open, no guard. To get that line out, I'll use, as you see here, the half guard. Open, then half open then close same thing and again I, I'm, I'm i'm making a neat line but i i flick as i go it's not i'm not you know pressing these lines into the head so they come out pretty easily as you can see i haven't even closed this clipper up at all yet i've just just now i did but before that i didn't and most of that line was out so after that first step, it's mostly just detailing. And as you can see, the fade is pretty much coming together. Um, it's a simple process. It takes muscle memory. Um, so of course, it's not gonna be this easy. Even if you follow the steps perfectly, you have to get a feel for it and an eye for it. But um, I think this is, this is one of the best ways for beginners to start. And I just follow the same thing on the other side. Oh man, so many awkward silences. I gotta find out some things to say in between. But yeah, you'll see that some, some on some people's heads, one side of the head may have a different direction of hair growth, a different texture. So you'll have to really look at the direction that hair is growing in and make sure you're going against the grain. If that means turning your clipper diagonally, then you then that's what you do. Um, but just pay close attention and see the effect that the clipper is having on the hair and uh, adjust it just adjust as you go. Yeah, so I actually have a camera strapped to my chest and that's how I'm recording this video right now. So. I'm actually looking at the head. I'm not really looking at the, the screen of my camera. So uh, some of this I had to edit out because I completely missed. Um, but I'll be paying better attention next time I do a tutorial. As you can see, I always have the TV on. Barbers in the comments, let me know what, if, if you like watching TV when you cut, listening to music when you cut, listen to audiobooks, podcasts, because I like it all, but I'll get through a whole series in a day. A 12-hour day, I'll get through a whole Netflix series. Yep, so now I'm just connecting that section in the back. Most of these things I'm, I'm talking about, I can show in a, a much shorter time. I just... I think it, it might be better for you guys who, who want to learn to show, you know, the actual work I'm putting in, not just the simple steps. So you see, that section's all blended before I even move on. So now I'm starting this next section going about an inch up with my one and a half guard open. And then to get this line out under it, I'm going to close up that one and a half guard and I'm going to end up putting my one guard back on and getting that line completely out. You'll see, you'll see in just a bit.
You'll see a lot, I, I push his head forward so that the light can completely hit it. Um, a lot of times your hands and the clipper create shadows and sometimes your eye needs a break. So that's why I'll, I'll let the light hit it so I can get a full, uh, full picture of my canvas. And as you see, I, I continue combing the whole way through. I never really put my comb down. And I just change guards there. And that's real time. That's how quickly barbers change guards in the process as you, as you get through it. All right, so this, this one guard um, it will be open to get that line out. And I'll actually retouch parts of my fade by even closing this a little bit up. So I'll do the same thing. I'll just complete that. I know I, I went a little out of order. Actually, I think I might have not uh, included the left side of his head with this step. But you guys get the idea. It's one and a half open. Uh, then I close that up and I work down until I put my one guard back on, open that up. And I may even close that even a little bit as I go lower on the fade, just so I can revisit some of those areas and further smooth it out. And I'm using wall premium guards. So they have a little a metal attachment where it clips onto the clipper. Um, I used to have the regular guards and they're cool, but after a while you will have to replace them more often. And also, as, as barbers know, that half guard and that one and a half on the regular set of wall, uh, um, wall guards, trash. <laughs> so these premium guards are necessary, man. Just invest in it. If you don't, if you haven't already, and you use wall, get some premium guards. So as you can see, the that blend is pretty much connected into the top. When I use a one open with the grain, the thing that connects it is normally just the, the one and a half open. Um, sometimes, you know, depending, I may use a two. But And here's our lineup. I apologize. I did do a little bit of it. Um, but I did not capture it with my camera, so we're starting kind of midway into it. But how I start my lineups, I'll start in the middle and then uh, I'll tap it to one side, trying to keep it as straight as possible. But you guys, I'll tell you, there's no uh, set of steps to get a perfect lineup. It's you get used to it. OK, um, the most important things, though, is to be stable and to be comfortable when you're doing a lineup. So you, as you see, my finger makes contact with his head before the blade does. It's, it's like a tripod. My hand's acting as a tripod and keeping it stable. That's the most important thing. And guys, don't be afraid to take a step away um, from your client as you're lining them up. See how, how you're going along. See if the line is uh, coming out straight. You don't want to do a whole line and then step back and realize you have to fix it. That'll really add minutes to your time that are unnecessary. All right, so here we go. Uh, I've done the pre line out with the clipper, and I've applied a, a bit of shaving gel, and now I'm going with the green. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm trying to catch some hairs um, that are sticking out um, on top of the hairline while I'm going down. So I'm literally trimming the front and also lining it up with the razor. Because I don't want those hairs coming down when my client goes home and brushes or combs their hair. Um, and just be light with the pressure. You don't. We don't need to be creating ash lines. It's not necessary because, believe it or not, the ash lines do not stay with their client with your client once they go home. Um, so yeah, I'm just going over the lines, combing down as many hairs as I can, so I can get it. Um, uh, and, and, and sometimes, sure, a, a hair will pop out when your client comes home, but it's your job to make sure you, you get as many of those hairs as you see, you know, in the time allotted. I, I put a, a hour on these haircuts where I line up the beard as well. And so that gives me a lot of time to make sure um, that I get as many hairs as I possibly can. And as you can see, I do trimmer, uh, straight razor, trimmer again. Um, and then I'll go, I'll actually go against the grain while I have the hot towel on the beard. 
that's a little trick of the trade um you know that that steam from the hot towel will, will rise up but you'll see in a second let me not get ahead of myself so now i'm fading out the beard and it's the same steps first i opened up that clipper i went about a half inch down or inch down whatever you see fit and i follow the same steps just working upside down and now i'm just laying a little bit of those hairs down guys i will admit um <laughs> you got to give the client what they want um my man he's rocking the beard he, you know that's what he wants so we keep the beard a lot of times i will i will advise if a client has a patchy beard or sparse beard it might just be better he might just be meant to be clean faced um so i might recommend a goatee but my client here he he's holding on tight he's working on his beard um, so I'm just going to do the best I possibly can to, uh, give him what he wants. He doesn't want to take length off the beard. He's growing it out. So I'm, I'm just trimming what I need to trim and I'm just going to line him up. So right here, I'm taking the one open against the grain to lay down that mustache. And, uh, now I'm hitting the bottom with the liners. Hitting the bottom with the liners first gives me kind of a better idea it kind of frames the mustache before i go in and uh, trim the top uh or, or shape up the top with my liner general rules for face is like you, you want to advise your client to rock what they have okay if they can grow a mustache and that's it rock the mustache if they can grow a goatee and that's it rock the goatee if they, you know, if whatever they could rock, rock it. If their beard grows out a certain length and stops, trim it down to that length and, and that'll make it look fuller and then line it up. Don't, you know, but hey, you also, bottom line is give them what they want. So you can, you could advise them as much as you can, but at the end of the day, it's what they want. You got to make your client happy. So here we go. I just took my hot towel at the, at, out of the hot towel warmer. And I'm just going to fold this over his face and just let him relax for a little bit while I check his lineup outside, uh, upside down. Um, and uh, I go against the grain with the straight razor. And this, the steam from this will actually soften the hairs around his, his, um, his lineup, making for a smoother shave. As you'll see, there, there won't be much ash. There won't be, you know... Uh, I won't be scraping. It's more like sliding because of the softness. All right, so here we go. You see, I'm not trying to recreate any line. I'm just taking the little specks, the little um, stubble that, that could be felt but not seen away from the hairline. So as you see, this is what I do. I, I don't um, I don't use enhancements, um, and I'm not saying anything is wrong with enhancements. It's just you know barbering's an art, and we all have our own styles, and this is just mine. So there's not every client's for me. If you want the you know the perfectly enhanced and beautiful hairline that you know you know some barbers like say a get beam hairline don't come to me okay that, that he has his art and he has his style this is my style um i just like to do as much as i possibly can with my straight razor and my clippers and and i and i keep it moving to keep you as natural as possible that's just what i'm into So guys, uh, this is my first tutorial, like I've said. So if you found this helpful, um, please just send this, you know, uh, one, like it. If it's on YouTube, subscribe, because there'll be more coming out. And send this to a fellow barber or, or just, you know, anyone who you think might enjoy this, you know. Um, so here I have the shaving gel on the beard, and I'm just tapping that line. And what I'll do is I'll continue to 
um, refine that line as I as I brush away uh, excess hair that has been cut and shaving gel. So I just want to get him neat, and you'll see I go over. I may trim hairs with my straight razor, um, as I I don't want hairs curling up above that line. Now I'll just keep tapping this. Again, just working with what I have. And you can get a super sharp line without doing all this, guys. You, you don't have to put the hot towel on, the shaving gel. But I just think it makes a different experience for your client. Um... I, I like shaving up pretty much that first layer of skin off. A lot of clients have told me that it makes them feel like they got a facial or their skin has cleared up after the shape up. Um, so I don't know. It's just it's part of the experience and a lot of clients like it. But I've also had people tell me, um, look, you gave me a great haircut, but I didn't come back because it took too long. You know, some people... It, some clients aren't for you some clients don't want you taking that extra time that extra detail they want to look good and they want to go uh, it's just not the type of guy i am it's not the type of barber so here we go we're doing the uh the c part um and i'm just taking my time i'm literally only using the edge of my clipper and i will say i've done all types of designs and this is still one of the hardest things for me to do is this this C part, because the hair is going straight forward. It's it's growing straight forward, but you're cutting it um, in a way that's almost uh, perpendicular to the way it's growing. So you just gotta keep combing and make sure those hairs do not get in the way of your line. Act as if, if your client can brush it and it changes, um, you have to continue and just keep uh, touching that line and making sure that hair does not go over it. And like everything, if I've touched it with the trimmer, um, I'm pretty much going to touch it with my straight razor. So as you see right here, I'm just using the edge of my blade, being very careful. And just tapping it. And to me, yes, it changes the look. It makes it look better. But it's also just like, it's just a habit of mine. It's just, I know that a straight razor is closer than a trimmer, no matter how zero gap. So it's just something I do. And here I'm taking loose ends. I did do a, fl a, a, a freehand trim with the trimmer. It was very hard to record that, I missed. But I also typically will do both. I'll, I'll lay it down with shears and the freehand clipper. So this is me hitting it with the shears. Just taking those stray hairs off the head, it just it creates a different shine and finish to your cut. And clients notice, trust me, I, I don't, I don't uh, ever suggest skipping out on details you never know it, it might be the the deal breaker <laughs> I have clients fall asleep in the chair all the time I know he's fighting it Stray hairs everywhere. We don't like them. We, we cut them. So as you see, I'm combing down. I just want to show you guys that my lineup is, is there to stay. Um, sure, the hair will grow out. But as of now, this hair is cut in a way where no matter how it's combed or brushed, it is sharp. It's unenhanced. It is natural. It is it, it's, it's precise. 
So there you go, a close up. As you can see, it's not super dark. It's not, you know, it's not unreal, but um, it is quality. And as you can see, the blend on the side.